In the previous video, I introduced you to an overview of the features that the software can offer. In this video, I will guide you through the first feature, which is how you can add accounts to the software. The software will log in automatically, so you won't have to do it manually. You just need to follow my instructions. The first step you need to do is create a folder for it. For example, you can save accounts that are specifically used for posting. I'll save this one. So I'll name it 02. I've already created a 01 folder. There's already a 01 folder. After that, you click on add account. You can buy these accounts from various sources. And if you need, you can contact me. I can give you some recommendations. These accounts are already in a preset format. Then I paste them into the software. You can press the Ctrl plus V shortcut to paste them in. After that, I select the folder where I want to save them. Here, there's already a preset format. And in my case, it matches this format. If not, you can edit manually. For example, here you can add the UID, the password. And if the account has two F3s, you can add both F3s. That's it. After that, you can add, like in my case, the email. Next will be the email password and the recovery email. Then just click add. There, you can see it. So here, I just added 18 accounts. There, they've been added successfully. Wait a moment, let me close this. Okay, so here you have 18 accounts, right? There, you can log in automatically. And I'll also show you how to add a proxy. Okay, I have 18 accounts, right? Here it is. Click on the proxy management section. First click on this section for me, proxy management. Let's temporarily ignore these proxies. I already added them earlier. Click the add proxy button for me here. Then paste the proxy in. Still using the Ctrl plus V shortcut. That's it. 18 of them and then you select here my configuration would be hotspot with the proxy's username and password actually if you don't know how to do this our support staff will guide you but they can speak english so they'll be able to explain it in a way you'll understand and make sure it's in http format there it's been added successfully so now the proxies will be from 6 to 23 because earlier i already had five after that, click this button for me, add proxy, then select the proxy folder. Oh, select the account folder here, this account. This folder contains 18 accounts. Then click here. There you go. I almost forgot. First, you have to select it. Select proxies from 6 to 23, which are the 18 I just added. Then click add proxy, select the account folder. This is the second folder with 18 accounts. Select all of them, then click here. Here, there will be four options you can choose from. Actually, one proxy can be used for about four Facebook accounts. However, here I will assign one proxy to each account. So I will choose the option of one proxy per account. You can set it to random or one proxy for multiple accounts or let it automatically allocate. For example, if you have 18 accounts but only 9 proxies, the software will automatically assign 2 accounts to each proxy. So here you need to understand a bit that there are 4 ways and here I will choose the first method and add it. Here, let me add it again. So here it will have all the proxies available for everyone and each account will have its own IP address. Okay, so that's the part about proxies. That's it. Here there is also a section related to history. So later when you have data running on the proxy, it will also save which account used which proxy in this section. So that's the part about adding accounts and adding proxies. Now I'll try logging in to show everyone. Um, here, I'll try logging in to show you all. It will automatically log in for everyone.
here I have five accounts. So it only opens five windows to log in. See, it's completely automatic. We don't have to do anything at all.